Hey, what's going on? It's Sunday and Chicago's tightest female DJ, and I am home here at V103 with one of my buddies, somebody I look up to. We all look up to this man. He is the founding father of house music, and his name is Lil Lewis. How are you, Lewis? I am amazing. I feel wonderful, ready to go. You look good. Oh, thank you. You're so radiant, you. honey. I have some music for you. Do you? I have, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've, I've written 1,900 songs in the last five and a half years. 1,900. For the pandemic, that's all I did was write, and, you know, I've written some books as well. So mm -hmm. I have the best music of my life, mm -hmm. by far superior to anything you've ever heard me do. It's a completely different level now. I'm, I'm excited for you, but the biggest question I have, where have you been? I haven't seen you in like almost 16, 17 years. Yes, I um, I was in Europe for a, a long time. Uh -huh. um, and when the pandemic hit, um, you know, it was devastating, of course, to everyone. But mm -hmm. um, for me, it, it, it hit, you know, in an extra way because I lost my brother. Steve oh, I'm sorry. and my brother Curtis and I lost them literally six months apart mm -hmm. um, so that kind of just sent me down this cubby hole and my way of always dealing with I guess grief like when I lost my mom mm -hmm. my way of always dealing with grief has always been to go in uh -huh. and just write mm -hmm. and just you know what I mean and and I've done this since I was a child. You know, that's how the book came about because I had uh, 200 diaries mm -hmm. that I had written when things were going on, or whatever. And so I started writing mm -hmm. and it was just really therapeutic. And I kept writing and I, every day I'd have my avocado toast mm -hmm. and I, I'd work for 21 hours because okay. I'd only sleep two and a half hours a day, two, two and a half hours a day. And then I'd go to bed, uh, wake up the next day, avocado toast sitting at the keyboard or sitting with my pen and 21 hours a day and I did that for three years and so in addition to the 1900 songs this is the first time I've ever said this uh, I've written 20 books 20 books literally in two and a half years less than three years I wrote 20 books because all I did you know, was write that's it and so I have uh, I'm I'm coming out on a different level when it comes. Really? Yeah. And all of it starting really Saturday. Like mm -hmm. Saturday is the point of the new. Now Saturday is the big forty nine tour. Right. Okay. Right. Explain that number. Okay. So I started DJing June twenty ninth, nineteen seventy four. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That was okay. the very first I was day. two. How about that? <laughs> Yeah, when it was a Saturday, which is kind of crazy, full circle, and I'll tell you about it. So um, I was 12 years old when I started DJing, as a lot of people know. And so this particular uh, June 20, uh, date, June 29, 2023, marks 49 years mm -hmm. for me as a DJ. Mm -hmm. And so what I decided was to embark on this tour. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to call it simply the 49 tour. Mm -hmm and kind of bring people wherever I go into the, the, the world that I've lived in and mm -hmm. the many facets of and many areas of music that I've played. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna get 49 years of me oh my when goodness. they're at the party. And okay. I'm telling you now, whoever comes there in trouble, because I'm not coming light, I'm not coming with, you and know. you don't take your shirt off? I just might. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's notorious for taking that shirt off. I love it. Okay, w tell me one thing. What do you think about the house music that you are hearing today and the house music that's coming out of Chicago? Are you proud? Um, you know what? I, I, am, I am proud mm -hmm. of a lot of what I'm hearing. What I will say um, is that I do think that the, the, the approach that I used to have and the approach that I think maybe most creatives had back in the day mm -hmm. is missing a bit. In, in, in other words, Donny Hathaway was Donny Hathaway. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Aretha was Aretha. Mm -hmm. and, and Nina Simone was Nina Simone. Mm -hmm. So when you got an album, you knew that there was this individual expression and, and, and it wasn't based on what was really selling or what mm -hmm. was happening. Mm -hmm. uh, it was more based on the individual talent. So 
oftentimes I don't really see that now. And that's the thing that I want people to be brave enough to really show what they are and who they are and not worry about, you know, is this going to hit on this particular platform? Mm -hmm. Because when I produce uh, music, when I create music, I've never thought about that. I've literally never thought, is this going to hit the radio? Or is this going to be popular? Because this sound, I could care less about that. For me, it's about what am I feeling right now? Mm -hmm. And how can I get that color out of my head? out of the keyboard okay. to, the, to the listener. Okay. That, that's all I care about. Okay. So whatever I have to do to get that color, that expression that I'm feeling out, that's what I do. Mm -hmm. I don't hear that a lot today. And that's what I want more of. So okay. I want people to be a little braver because you know you, you, you have the choice to either get in the car and ride in the back or to drive the car or make the car. I choose to make the car. Oh, Lewis, ain't nobody playing with you. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me one thing, because I do know from the history, you did set a tone in house music. I know that you were the first house um, producer to get a major label yeah. out of Chicago. Um, the label that French Kiss was on. Sony. So, uh -huh. yeah. so now are you independently putting it out? Are you on a record label? Um, well, I am, uh, right now it's about peer to peer. Okay. So e even though I do have, uh, I'll call it an affiliation with the label. Okay. Um, it's more of a partnership mm -hmm. because uh, the need for, uh, for distribution, the need for the record label mm -hmm. is not the same, right? Because I, my fans are direct. And as long as I can reach my fans, that's who they're trying to reach anyway. Okay. I have the ability to reach my fans. Mm -hmm. So yes, do they have other avenues that they can they can help me with um, in my journey? Sure. Mm -hmm. But it's really about partnership. Okay. It's no longer about being on the label. Okay. Would you recommend um, a newbie producer to go independently or seek out distribution? I think that it depends on 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 what this um, the individual's reach is. Quite frankly, um, because the the dynamics have shifted, uh, the record labels honestly are taking a lot more mm -hmm. of the bottom line, uh, including the 360 deal, mm -hmm. which I think is a travesty. And I can you know I've been in the game long enough that I can speak honestly. Mm -hmm. I think it's a shame that they're taking 360 deal. So anyone regardless of their tenure should never really enter into a 360 deal unless they understand all of the parameters okay. for that deal mm -hmm. um, so yeah it, it really also depends you know if, if they're really trying to make their own statement then be brave enough to do independent mm -hmm. and, and and write true and people will follow you okay you know well let's bounce back to you how can i hear the 1900 songs I know I'm gonna come tomorrow night. Yeah. Tomorrow night is the big day at the yeah. Riviera Theater. Yeah. But um, how can we follow you? How can we support you? So what's happening right now for me is I am um, going to put out nine albums back to back. Come on. And it's going to start Q3 of 2024. Uh -huh. Right around the time we do another announcement, which I'm not gonna announce. That. Okay, okay. Um, but you'll be back to tell us. No question about okay. it. No question. Mm -hmm. um, but the first album will drop then, and then every six months I'm going to drop a, another album. Okay. Um, and the albums are basically ready to go. Okay. And it was really crazy trying to choose between all those songs. Mm -hmm. But, you know, my thing now is to really give you more cinema mm -hmm. than anything else with my music. You mm -hmm. know, because I, another thing I did is I took classical lessons and things mm -hmm. like that. So I'm, I'm producing at a different level, you know, like I, I'm not doing really, if you look at the second album, it's more jazz based, mm -hmm. Journey with the Lonely. And these, this new work is really classical. Mm -hmm. It's really about that mm -hmm. uh, form of expression. So. I, um, when I finally got a chance to meet you and connect you with uh, Fr French Kiss, with Club Lonely, I said, man, my circle is, insane that I can call this person and say, hey, this is Sundance, let's let's laugh, let's talk. I need advice and I get sound advice from you. Tomorrow is your pinnacle day. Yes. And I'm gonna try my best to get my tail on out there. Yeah. What can I expect? I know you coming with it because yeah. I know you DJ, you're an aggressive DJ. Yeah. 
And I love that about you. Yeah. You're not going to play with the people. No, no. Not one. Well, but what can the other people come and expect well, from Lil Lewis? You know, I will tell you, tell you this, that the nice stuff is done as mm. of tomorrow night. All of the nice, you know, <laughs> happy feeling, you know, okay. happy love. <laughs> Okay. Stuff that that's that's done um, because I I want to hurt people. I, I really want you know break heels and um, you want the lace fronts to come up. Everything ham, hamstrings. Yeah. Okay. I, okay. I want I want people to hurt. You okay. know Because you know it was, I'll I'll tell you a quick story that I haven't shared with anyone. It was really funny at Medusa's. I did this party, and this guy literally jumped off the stage and broke his leg. Mm -hmm. Broke his leg, and so. My mom and my dad, they ran up to the booth and they said, look, we have to call the ambulance. So mm -hmm. they called the ambulance for this guy and he refused to leave. So he was literally up against the stage, just and he just kept on down, like, fuck that shit. You know, <laughs> that's <laughs> what I want. Right. That's you just what I want. want. You want it all. Yeah. That's and, what you, I want. and everybody, we're going to come out and support Tomorrow's the Big Day, the Riviera Theater. 4746 North Racine. What time do the doors swing open? I think the doors open at six. Now, um, there was a lot of talk about me only playing an hour because there a, a few DJs. I'm playing, I told them, a minimum of three hours. Okay. So I start at 1030. Okay. And I'm just letting you know from 1030 on, from the second I get on, I'm I'm wreaking havoc. I'm not. I'm I'm just. I'm gonna bring them something that they used to have. Okay. Because anyone that knows me from the Bismarck and Medusas mm -hmm. and Dingbats, they know how I play. Mm -hmm. And so I'm. You know, they better bring some sneakers. Are they, tickets? They need that. Tickets still available? I think. Yeah. I I know there's a lot of the areas balconies been sold out. I think most of the floor is gone. Okay. But I do think that there are a few tickets left. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you know, I, is it uh, icy hot? What's it, another brand for rubbing yourself? Uh, Vicks, yeah. icy Vicks. hot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Are they your sponsors? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, but they're. Are they your sponsors? No, no, but they're gonna they're gonna sponsor them. Okay. My fans, cause okay. They're, gonna, <laughs> they're gonna need some of that. Yeah. Can, how can we follow you? Are, are you on social media? Yeah. Will you And will you be streaming this? No. Really? No, no, because see, I, I've never really done that. Mm -hmm. My philosophy is this. If you want to hear me, come to the venue. You know, let's make it a special day. Okay. You know what I mean? Imagine, you know, if you're going on a date with someone for the first time, would you want to stream that? No. Yes, yeah, you and, and this guy and you guys are having a great time. Mm -hmm. Well, every event for me is that. Okay. It's that first date. Okay. You know, no matter what I played or what I did, this is the first day. Tomorrow's the first day. You know, okay. there, there are people that are coming that haven't seen me before. Okay. So I don't want them to now see this everywhere else. To me, it's okay. about that night. It's about me and my fans. I love you. I you've love you always well. been that dude to me. Thank you. So you know, much. and and you, I love the way you play. I love your music, and I still keep it in rotation in every set. I'm super proud of you. I'm so proud of the books. That's that's what I love. Because a lot of DJs, they don't tap into that other side of Absolutely. being an artist. They just, they DJ or they may slide into production, but they never slide into something else that God gave. And that's what makes you the founding father of house music. Because you would tap into that. How can we follow you? Uh, IG um, and Facebook, I think, is Lil Lewis Official. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. You you still before you go on stage tomorrow, you gotta do at least a one live. Just walk into the stage. Okay. Make it that one Ali moment. Okay. 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 We'll do. And then I'ma tell everybody else that um they better get their tail on over there. That's it. Absolutely. Yep. And make sure you come back with the another big announcement. No question. Okay. Thank you, Lewis. Okay. I love and appreciate you, I love you so guys. very much. Thank you for allowing me to interview you and talk to you. Absolutely. You my guy. You my guy. Always.